Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do another review, but this time it's going to be on something a little bit different, still tech, but I figure you know you can't look at Bluetooth and phones forever. Uh, Digital Essentials Robotic Vacuum Cleaner. Now you may be wondering where you can actually get this. Five Below actually sells this. I uh, can't say every location, but the bigger location should sell this product soon. If it's not in stock and others, it will be. And um, you can get, like I said, you get it for $20. Very, uh, exp uh, not expensive. It's a cheap vacuum in terms of price. But let's open a box and see what it can actually do. Now, I got to be honest with you guys. When I first saw this, I actually have a robotic vacuum myself. Uh, what company is that? I believe it's an Anchor vacuum. It's crazy. I love Anchor. <laughs> I should be uh, sponsored by them. <laughs> but anyway, uh, when I saw this, I kind of figured that this would be like one of those vacuums that kind of are kind of cheap or, you know, like you buy from, I, I can't say really what stores it comes from, but these vacuums tend to be kind of cheap, to be honest with you, especially for this price point. Um, and not suck up too much dirt. Like most of these current vacuums, they have an actual stand where a charging station where it goes on its own. It has some type of app support. Unfortunately, this doesn't have either or. It's more of a situation where you hit the button, you charge it, you hit the button, it has the sweepers, and then you're good to go. So let's take a look at what comes inside the box. As you can see, I already pulled it out. Everything's new. So it's new to me, just like it is new to you. The micro USB is right here. Uh, just so you guys know, this does have a work time of 30 minutes. So this is easy to clean bagless. So the bagless design means when you pop this open right here, this is where the dirt goes. You would just, once it gets sucked up, what you do is you pull this out. See if I can grab it. You grab it, pop the top. Which way does this go? I know each one is different. I think it's this way right here. Yep. And you end up dumping the dirt from here, I believe. Or from here. It's probably here. Does this open up all the way? Yep, it does. So it actually opens up all four pieces. But a lot of these things, you clean the filter off also. And then the dirt is probably underneath here, which you would probably have to just um, throw it in a, not throw this away, of course, but you would have to rinse this off when you're done in addition to uh, dumping the inside of it, which I want to try to do all that in real time in different segments of this video. And then you can go ahead and just pop this back on like so. Actually, this is a little... There we go. So the pieces in the back, let me do that again for you guys. So with these hooks right here, the pieces in the back go in. Does it? <laughs> let me take this whole thing out of the case. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, so looks like this is the groove. These are the hook pieces. So if you push this in like so, the two hook pieces are in the back. This is here too. So how do you actually, it seems like a lot of work. They thought this through. There we go. And it popped right in. So I'll be able to put this in first and then push these in. All right. So that's pretty cool. Uh, what do we have here on the back? Like most vacuums, the cheaper ones that I actually had in the past didn't even have these. The unfortunate part with this is that this actually gets damaged very easily. And so if you do this on a hardwood floor or a carpet, well, this probably can't go on carpet, to be honest. The one I have is more up to date. You can actually climb on carpet. I don't think this actually can, but it can, It should be to run on carpet. We are going to try that in real time. I know that this is more so for like ceramic floors, hardwood floors, things like that. But because I'm at my job, we are going to go ahead and run this in real time uh, on the floor. And I have a little some trash on the floor already that nobody cleaned up yet. So it actually works out for me. What do we have here? So, wood floors, marble, tile. Uh, since it has the easy design, the suction mode where these actually spin and it pushes the dirt into right here where it gets sucked in with the suction. Uh, just like I said, it does give you a 30 minute uh, battery life. So it's nothing super special. I know some of the other ones tend to give you 90 minutes or uh, I can't say more than that. I know mine gives me about an hour and a half to two hours of uh, battery life. And then it goes back to the charger on its own and it'll charge itself as long as they can find it. So each one is different. This is the cleaning brush right here, which you will more likely end up using it to clean the inside of what we showed, or you will more likely end up using, you can't really clean the blades with it because these are brushes themselves. So nine times out of 10, if this gets damaged, the brushes that you see right here, more likely the headset is pretty much, I mean the headset, the uh, 
spinnerunies, whatever these things are called, the brushes will probably be done. So yeah, it's, I don't think it's made for carpet. It doesn't look like it's gonna suck up too much anyway, compared to the more heavy duty ones. And like I was talking to you guys before, let's pull this up closer. That's the lid, you take this out, pop the top, you remove that, and that's where you dump the garbage or whatever the uh, stuff is that it sucks up. So with that being said, seems simplistic, very simple. Uh, we have, what else do we have here? Pretty much of it. And this is the physical button right here to actually turn it on. As you can see, this is how it looks. So, it's a little loud, but it's still a pretty cool device. Like I felt like, you know what, uh, these are easy access items. Like granted, the more expensive ones will allow you to go on carpet, flooring, pick up water, different things like that. But again, not everybody has the money and just wants to spend it on random items. So with that being said, uh, this isn't bad so far, so far. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the carpet to see if it works. If it does, even better. If not, uh, it probably won't work on heavy duty carpet, but I figure, you know what, let's do this all in one video and see how this guy goes. So, you see the trash on the floor, right there? Let's see if we pick it up on this thing. <laughs> if I can get it to do it. Come on, machine. There you go. Okay, so it did suck that piece up. So it can go on light carpet. Alright, suck a couple more pieces. Knock one away. Put it over here. Oh my gosh, I think I actually went the wrong way. Okay, so it can pick up like broken chips and things off the ground, so it does work. Uh, what I will say is that this particular thing is not supposed to be on carpet. So I think that's why it's just doing this silly spin around. <laughs> oh, this is funny. It's interesting. It's still somewhat doing its job. Come on. Struggle over there for me. There you go. There you go. All right, so it can actually pick up food particles. I don't think it can pick up anything heavier than that. Let's try it. What is this thing going? Suck that up. Put it there. Yeah, it's a little past. Let me see. No, so it looks like it only can pick up smaller items like crumbs, broken potato chips, things like that. Okay, so that's definitely something. So what I'm gonna go, wait, wait. Nope, I didn't get it. All right, so let me <laughs> cut to the next part of this video. All right, so that was fun. <laughs> that was definitely fun. Uh, the other thing we need to talk about is this, and I totally forgot to say this in the beginning. This right here is a charger port, as you can see. So the charger port is on the side of it. You will use the micro USB right here. Unfortunately, this is what I will say. I actually did this in another video. Unfortunately, I couldn't show you guys how it worked on uh, like more solid ground because of where I work. I can't really have a camera in certain locations. This was a break room where I'm sitting, so that's a different story. But with that being said, uh, I did try this. As a matter of fact, let me see if I can kind of see how it goes on this table. I don't want it to fall over. Okay. All right. Ooh, picked up hair. Look at that. All right, so I do have a verdict for this. Now, for the $20 price tag, I'm going to be completely honest with you. It's not a bad product for $20. So what I mean by that is if it's on a solid table. Now, just so you know, this cannot go on a thicker carpet. So if you have that thick, wooly, plush carpet, it is not going to roll around on that. You Forget it. Forget about it. This didn't climb carpet either. So some cleaners can climb onto carpet, onto hardwood floors. This is not one of them. This is strictly for laminate or some type of hardwood floor where it can pick up dust or dirt. Now here's the problem. Because there's no physical remote to control this thing, it's basically on its own. It's just driving around doing its own thing at its own discretion and that's that. And because of that, you saw it spin around a moment ago. It's like this, I'm not gonna say that, that it's, I'm not even sure this thing had a sensor. It seems like it's more of a situation where it bumps into something and then it kind of just knows to go into a different direction. But even on a solid ground, 
uh, occasionally this will, not well, more than occasionally, but like half the time, this will spin around indiscriminately in the same spot. Like it's struggling, like the wheels are struggling to kind of align themselves. Then it'll go to a different section. So to answer the question, is this worth $20? Uh, yes, it's worth the $20 because of what it can do and the time that it gives you. Because most of them that come like this, and I'm comparing them to other cleaners, cheaper cleaners, not higher end, they don't have this at all. It doesn't have it. I've had a couple where this spinny part was not existent. It was just a suction part right here. It was about half this size, and it just moved around on its own. And it didn't really pick up that much at all. Versus this one where this will direct the dirt or dust, wherever in the middle. Now, granted, all cleaners do this where they, they knock dust around in spots where it doesn't pick up everything right away. But that's one of the reasons why you have the remote where you can manually control it sent down wherever you are, even from home. This doesn't connect to Wi-Fi like the one I have. It doesn't do any of that. And, of course, the price tag is way different. Mine was actually also cheap. Uh, I have two of them, $199, one is $150, while this one is literally $20. So just be aware of what you're paying for and where you got it from. Now, I'm going to look at this again. I'm going to try to see how much time it takes to actually charge it in order for it to use. It doesn't actually say, unfortunately, it doesn't say the charge time, meaning how long it takes to actually charge the product before you can use it again, unfortunately. But again, it's 30 minutes. Uh, other than that, for the first time experience, for those that just want to give this as a gift, it's not bad, especially if you wanted, but you know what, I want to keep this in my kitchen. I'm just going to ride around, collect food from the kitchen floor, things like that. If you expect this to get around your entire house, uh, it's not smart enough to do that, to be honest with you. If you have an apartment like mine, where it's a lot of curves and dips and things like that, this isn't going to do very well on like an incline or in, in that type of envir environment. But if you have a flat surface kitchen, uh, I don't know many people that have a dining room that don't necessarily have carpet in it. But no, actually, no. Now I think about it, a lot of people have uh, kitchens without carpets or live rooms, too, especially if you have the same flooring, especially with more modern homes. This will work for you. It'll do the job. I mean, it'll be a little annoying to have to charge it every 30 minutes. Uh but it does do the job and, you know, it'll put you into the introduction of cleaner robots. Now, what I will say for those that buy this and say, oh, it's crap, right? It's $20 and it's coming from five below. So keep your expectations at a minimal like I did when I purchased this. I really didn't want to spend the 20. But when I saw it, I said, you know what? Why not? I mean, it'll, it'll make a good video and people will see it and wonder, well, does anyone actually have this? Because people want to see reviews of products. It does pick up food. Not going to act like it doesn't. It does pick up food off the ground. It will pick up dust. It will pick up hair, things like that. If you're looking at papers, eh, maybe. If you're looking at longer objects, not so much because the suction on it at the bottom isn't that great. This isn't for uh, dirt and grime. like Things like cat hair or something, it should be able to get up. Light, light stuff. Anything else, not so much. And it can't transfer from carpet over to... Uh, the wood floors or whatever type of floor, laminate, whatever type of floors that you have. It does not do that. But again, if this is the entry, this isn't even the entry level, really. Uh, but if you're in the market, you say, you know what? You don't want to spend $100 for a cleaner, $150, $200, because it costs more than that. Remember, this is not, don't let this be the model to think that all cleaning robots are going to hack this way. It's not. This is the bottom of the barrel. This is like buying a entry level cell phone. No, no, wrong. This is like buying um, a government phone. It's a cell phone. It still goes on the internet. It would do what you needed to do, just slower and not as well. Hopefully that makes sense because I know there are some decent government phone out there. Uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, yeah, it's worth 20 bucks. If you want to try it out, it's definitely worth 20 bucks. Um, I like it, even though I had this hiccups where it was spinning around in the same spot. Eventually it does go on its own. I just gave you guys a short video. It did perform better. <laughs> but... <laughs> I know you saw it. You're probably thinking, hey, he's lying. <laughs> no, it did perform better than what you saw, especially on regular flooring or like this type of material right here. But again, it did spin around a little bit. So, I mean, it will pick up whatever's near it. And then it just aimlessly goes around like it has no idea where it's going. But I still think it's cool for $20. You know, it'll get you thinking maybe the real ones are good. That's what I did. I had a cheap one first. Then I got a real one. And this thing is climbing floors and everything. My wife ended up getting one that's a mop, and that one uh, cleans the kitchen, and we have that blocked off so it can't leave. So it really depends on what you want. We're lazy people, and I don't feel like sweeping. So that's about it. But anyway, uh, like, subscribe, and I will definitely see you guys in the next video. Till then, be safe.